Okay, so this is what I've been working on lately. Um, it is my work in progress, the MAME cabinet that I'm building. Um, it's going to play about 3,000 plus games, <clears throat> mostly arcade. Uh, anyway, basically, I picked this thing up for $50 on Craigslist. It was in perfect condition. Uh, it was an old Virtua Fighter cabinet. This is the original artwork that was up top. Of course, I took that off. Um, and I'm going to replace it with uh, my own marquee. It's, and there's, as you can see, there's a light up there. And um, it's going to light up, and it's going to have my... Uh, little own custom marquee up there and um, basically this, this panel is glass and I'm replacing it with this uh, I cut some plexiglass I don't know if you can really see that but um, it's going to go up there um, I'm going to put my own marquee up there um, it's completely gutted as you can see a little dirty needs to be cleaned out still but um this thing was full of circuit boards and all the guts of the original arcade game. Um, it was white. I painted it black. As you can see, it's black now. <laughs> Looks a lot better that way. Um, I stripped off the original artwork. I'm probably going to put my own stickers on there. Uh, I mounted some speakers. These are pretty decent speakers. Um, and basically, I'm going to run the sound from the computer into a, a receiver that I'm going to mount probably up here and I have all the volume controls and whatnot right here and it'll give it a really good sound <clears throat> those are the original speakers here I could probably hook those up as well um, coin door pretty much serves no purpose now um, as you can see there is where the computer tower is going to be built a little shelf there, the computer tower is going to sit right there so basically you know it's going to be like closed up and whenever I want to power everything on I just got to open it right here and hit the computer power button and it will turn on. This is basically the TV that's going to go in here and I've got to customize these brackets if not replace them all together <clears throat> because this is made for a arcade monitor which by the way it didn't come with a monitor in it which is why I got this cabinet so cheap which wasn't a big deal this TV was 40 bucks at a thrift store um, it has super video inputs in the back so I'm good there uh, I bought that computer on Craigslist for $30 and it's a Pentium 4 with a gig of RAM and I'm getting a video card in the mail probably sometime later this week and it's just a standard video card really it's nothing too special and it's just a PCI video card that I'm going to be putting in there um, so it's not going to be great but I mean it, when you're emulating games it's more about your processor power anyway and let's face it, it it doesn't take much power to play Pac-Man or anything from the 80s and early 90s or 70s also. Anyway, that TV is going to go in here. This computer is going to be, the, uh, <clears throat> of course, going to be handling all the games. And I'm still working on it. Um, tomorrow I'm going to be re rebuilding this. This is the original... This is the original pad, game pad, con or whatever you want to call it, the panel where your joystick and buttons and everything go. And this one's pretty simple, but I'm going to make mine out of wood and I'm going to have a lot more buttons on mine. <laughs> um, I'm not, I decided not to use this panel um, just because I want to make a custom one. It's going to be better for my needs, so yeah. Um, I think that's about it. Um, 
so yeah this is my work in progress and um, I'll keep everyone up to date as it happens um, it's been a lot, a lot of fun so far so hopefully um, I can get this done and behind me and it'll be really really cool to have in the garage I think so